Welcome to Tiny Texas Living. Who says you can't live big while living tiny? In the air in Texas just needs to take a chill pill. It's killing me today. My allergies have been so bad, so there's no way that I can do anything in the outdoors today. At the same time, it's super, super hot here. And because I still need to get my AC fixed or get a new AC, I've been kind of retreating in the afternoon times into my room space because it's much cooler in there. And it's just because the sun hits on this side of the house and when it does, it's like the most intense sun and it just parks itself there for like hours on end. And so even though the fans keep it nice in here in like the later evening and then also the earlier morning, there's a span of about four to five hours where it's just like, and I think that between that and my allergies, my eyes are just struggle bussing. So I thought today I would focus some of my attention on a few projects that I have. They're super easy projects that I can do inside the house. And I think I'm gonna start off with one project that I am really excited about that I won't be able to fully see the potential of until this evening. I'm going to put some lights on my television. Now, I like to have a lot of really cool lights around the inside of my house, and it's mostly because, again, my eyes. I have super sensitive eyes. So at nighttime, instead of looking at the blaring bright LEDs that I have in the ceiling fans and then also the can lights, I prefer to take a little bit of a softer approach. I have a lamp over here. I have a lamp across the room. I have some overhead lights that are just like calm and soft. And then of course I do have my galaxy light also, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to add a fun light to the backside of the TV. And so I recently went on a little Amazon shop and found these TV backlights. And these are really nice because they're very similar to the lights I have in other portions of the room, but they can be sound controlled as well as you can just pick a static color. They have a little remote with them and they stick onto the back of the television and are about 10 feet long. So I'm going to install these and it shouldn't take me but just a couple minutes to do that. Okay, the lights are now installed. And so I have the remote. They plug in with a USB to the back of the television and then I can control them either by this or by a little piece on the back of the TV. Hi. How are you? Hi, how are you? Hello? Hi, hi. I think I'm just gonna leave them on a static color. I have green and blue and yellow and orange and purple or just white. Okay, and that's pretty good. And then whenever it gets dark, I'll be able to look at it a little bit better to see how it really glows. It actually turned out pretty good and I have another set of these that are going in my room and I'm going to put them behind my bed because at nighttime, again, I have a big overhead light and it is super bright and it's great, but sometimes it's a little bit much. So if I'm just hanging out and I want some soft lights, I can use these and then I can have a nice glowing light as opposed to a bright, bright light. And so that'll be better if I'm like watching my laptop in a movie or something, or if I'm just laying in bed doom scrolling because that's what we do. So I'm going to put these behind my bed in just a few minutes, but that means I'm going to have to move my bed. That's going to be interesting. That's, that's definitely going to be interesting. But I think until then, I'm going to hang up something else that I can't finish just yet, but I can at least get it into a hang up position. So I'll feel a little bit more confident about it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to paint it, but I have to find the right color. So until then, it's just gonna have to be the wrong color, but at least it'll have a home as opposed to just being in my living room because I'm, I'm quickly getting overwhelmed by all of the different projects I have going on between my tiny home and my van. And so if I can just knock this out for a temporary fix even, I'm, I'm gonna be happy with that. And then whenever I get an opportunity to find the correct color of paint, which is a little bit harder to find. Uh, they didn't have the right color at my local Walmart, so I'm gonna have to look at a different store. So yeah, um, then I'll be able to finish this. But for now, I have a new alternative to my hats. I previously was using these little hooks that are like stocking hooks and just hanging them on the sides of the windows, which looked really nice, but this is gonna be more efficient. 
Okay, so I found this guy right here for $3.99 at a Salvation Army thrift shop. And obviously, again, needs some paint. It's not pretty. It looks like somebody probably painted it previously. But this is a plate holder, which I checked it out and my hats fit really well on this. So I'm going to be putting this in my room. And then whenever I get it all painted, it'll look really nice. I think I'm gonna go with this color as my inspo. This is the same color that I have on my bed. And if I can just find a paint that kind of matches. So what I'm probably gonna do is take this pillowcase with me whenever I go shopping and just see if I can find something that more closely resembles this. But for the meantime, I'm gonna take this little tag off and I have a place already set up for it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hang it up so it is out of the way and in a safe place so that it can't get bent or anything like that in my house if it were to fall. The average person would not worry about things bending and falling, but I lately have been just whenever I purchase something, I put it in my living room so that I can use it or I can get to it. And I have like this one place that I put it and this was kind of sitting upright in that spot and it fell already. So I don't want anything bad to happen to it. So this is gonna save it from something happening. And then maybe sometime within the next week, two weeks, I'll be able to find that paint. Until then though, at least I'll have the sense of this being okay. I'm gonna take down this frame and I'm gonna actually use this photo on my adventure wall. And then this will hang here like so. And again, it'll look so much better whenever it's actually the right color. But now I can take my hats and somehow put them on here. That is a good place for those for now. And so that part's finished. I think some days whenever I'm just feeling kind of overwhelmed, just accomplishing the little tiny things, it helps. It helps so, so much. And so being able to hang that up and having a good place for it, and it can always be something that moves to a different place at a later time if I want to, but for now it is up, it is safe. And I feel like I did something, even though it's overwhelming to go outside and my eyes are clearly struggle busing. And I maybe wasn't having the best feeling of days, but now in my tiny home, I'm feeling like I accomplished something between the TV lights and then that, and then the fact that I'm gonna do the bed lights in a little while, this is turning into a day of productivity, which is awesome. So even though it's kind of a gross day outside, on the inside, I'm making the most of it. I could sit here and be sad or overwhelmed or feel terrible or I can take life by the horns and go for it, which is what I'm choosing to do. Okay, I've got these installed now and they just stick to the wall. The cord comes in from a USB on the side and now I just need to move the bed back. Any of these projects with lights, I'm not gonna be able to fully tell what they look like until I turn off the lights later on and can see what they look like. But I think I have it at a good height.